Electron Configuration Electron configuration is a shorthand notation that describes the distribution of electrons within the atomic orbitals of an atom. It specifies the energy levels and sublevels where electrons are likely to be located. The notation typically uses numbers and letters to represent the principal energy levels and the type of sublevel S, P, D, or F in which electrons are found. The idea of electron configuration is closely associated with the quantum mechanical model of the atom by Erwin Scrandiger. To make the concept easier to understand, let us use Nilbor's planetary model to illustrate electron configuration. An atom has different energy levels which are represented by the symbol N. The energy levels are also known as electron shells or principal quantum levels. These energy levels are designated by the numbers 1, 2, 3, and so on. In an atom, this is the first energy level or N equals 1. The first energy level is the closest to the nucleus and has the lowest energy. Electrons in the first energy level experience a stronger attraction to the positively charged nucleus, resulting in lower energy levels. This is the second energy level, third, fourth, and fifth. As the energy levels move higher, n equals 2, n equals 3, and so on, the electrons are farther from the nucleus and experience a weaker attraction, leading to higher energy levels. Each energy level can accommodate a specific maximum numbers of electrons, and as you move to higher energy levels, the capacity for electrons increases. Under each energy level, there are sublevels. Sublevel in the first energy level, sublevels in the second energy level, and so on. The sublevels are also known as subshells. These refer to different types of orbitals within an energy level where electrons are likely to be found. The sublevels or subshells are labeled with letters S, P, D, and F, and each has a distinct shape and orientation. To better understand the sublevels, let us zoom in on this atom with its energy levels. This is the nucleus, the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth energy levels. As mentioned earlier, the sublevels are expressed as S, P, D, F, and G. In the first energy level, there is only one sublevel, which is S. The S sublevel is also present in the second, third, fourth, and fifth energy levels. In the second energy level, there are two sublevels, S and P. The P sublevel can also be found in the third, fourth, and fifth energy levels. In the third energy level, there are three sublevels, S, P, and D. The D sublevel is also existing in the fourth and the fifth energy levels. In the fourth energy level, there are four sublevels. S, P, D, and F. The F sublevel is also spotted in the fifth energy level. In the fifth energy level, there are five sublevels S, P, D, F, and G. Since this sublevel is in the first energy level, we write 1 before the sublevel. In this case, it's 1S. Since these sublevels are in the second energy level, we write 2 before the sublevels. The same applies to the sublevels in the third, fourth, fifth energy levels. So this number represents the energy level and the letter represents the sublevel. Now let's discuss the superscripts associated with each sublevel. This indicate the number of electrons within that specific sublevel. For instance, in the S sublevel, there are two electrons. Let's explore this thoroughly. 
sublevels contain orbitals. Orbitals are specific regions of space where electrons are likely to be found. Each sublevel consists of one or more orbitals. For the S sublevel, there is one orbital. For the P sublevel, there are three orbitals. For the D sublevel, there are five orbitals. Let us use this illustration to show the orbitals of the F and G sublevels. Again, the S sublevel has one orbital, which is represented by one box as the orbital diagram. The P sublevel has three orbitals, represented by three boxes. The D sublevel has five orbitals. The F sublevel has seven orbitals. Lastly, the G sublevel has nine orbitals. Each orbital has a maximum of two electrons, which is spin in different directions, one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. Let us fill each orbital with two electrons. So, the maximum number of electrons in the S orbital is 2. In the P orbital is 6. In the D orbital is 10. In the F orbital is 14. And in the G orbital is 18 electrons. Let us go back to this illustration and distribute the electrons among the sublevels. For the S sublevel, 2 electrons. For the P sublevel, 6 electrons. For D sublevel, 10 electrons. For F sublevel, 14 electrons. And for G sublevel, 18 electrons. Now let's count the maximum number of electrons in each energy level. In the first energy level, there can be a maximum of 2 electrons. In the second energy level, the maximum is 2 plus 6 equals 8 electrons. Moving on to the third energy level, the maximum is 2 plus 6 plus 10 equals 18 electrons. For the fourth energy level, it is 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 equals 32 electrons. Finally, in the fifth energy level, the maximum is 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18 equals 50 electrons. This is what the sublevels and the number of electrons look like in each energy level. Now, let's proceed to an exercise and determine the electron configuration of oxygen. Oxygen has an atomic number of 8 which also corresponds to the number of protons. When not in an excited state, it has 8 electrons. Starting with the first energy level, we write 1s2, accounting for 2 electrons. Once an energy level has reached its maximum electron capacity, which is in this case is 2, we proceed to the next energy level which is the second energy level and write 2s2. With 4 more electrons needed, we introduce the P sublevel, filling it with 4 electrons. Thus, the electron configuration of oxygen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p4, totaling 8 electrons. Let's explore another example, sodium. With an atomic number of 11, sodium possesses a total of 11 electrons. We start by filling up the first energy levels, 1s2 sublevel. Then, we move to the second energy level and fill the 2s2 and 2p6 sublevels, giving us a total of 10 electrons, 2 plus 2 plus 6. Since the second energy level has reached its maximum electron capacity, we move on to the third energy level and put one electron in the 3s sublevel. Thus, the electron configuration for sodium is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Combining the electrons in each sublevel results in 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1 equals 11 electrons. 
the oxygen whose electron configuration ends with a 2p sublevel is located in the p block on the periodic table of elements. In contrast, sodium, which ends with a 3s sublevel, is found in the s block. The remaining blocks are the d block and the f block. We can also use the electron configuration matrix to determine the electron configuration of an element. Each row represents a different energy level. The first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth energy levels. To start another exercise, recall the maximum number of electrons each sublevel can hold. Let's use this reference to find the electron configuration of nitrogen. Nitrogen has an atomic number of 7, meaning it has 7 electrons. In the first energy level, we write 1s2 sublevel. The s sublevel can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. Then, let's move to the second row or the second energy level. Here we find the 2s2 sublevel giving us a total of 2 plus 2 equals 4 electrons. We can get the remaining electrons from the next sublevel, which is 2p. Since we only need 3 electrons, we will fill 2p with 3 electrons and we stop. So, the electron configuration of nitrogen is 1s2, 2s2, 2p3. Take a moment to remember the energy level sublevels in each energy level and the maximum electrons each sublevel can hold. This understanding will empower you to figure out the electron configuration of an element without needing any reference. Now let's move on to another challenge. Test your knowledge by answering each question without looking at the illustration or the matrix. Determine the electron configuration for the following elements. Post the video, write your answer on a scotch paper. Resume playing to reveal the correct answer.